Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Sinda. I'm Shimon. And this video we're talking about tips and advice on what must you do in New Zealand and what must you expect when you're driving a camper van. Let's jump in. So the first question is, what can you bring to New Zealand? Well, actually, you can bring unopened stuff, but please avoid any liquid, any liquid product. Mm. As for milk, especially dairies or meat or whatever, as well, it's not advisable. It's not advisable, but I say instant, instant products you can like instant Milo, instant coffee, instant Maggie noodles, stuff that actually is sealed or is dry like. mm. If it's anything that is like poultry or dairy, it's not allowed because beef product also doesn't allow. Yeah, you know, it's just their cast. It's just their law. I think most of the countries may they have their own law, so yeah. please check it out before you go over. Okay, so let's jump into the second one. So drivers, please get enough rest. Yeah, as a driver as myself, I can't sleep on aeroplane. I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh. Maybe I must sleep really straight, then I can sleep. The nine and a half hours flight from Singapore to New Zealand was crucial. Seriously, I think I slept very much. I think three and a half hours to four. I can't sleep more than that. And the day before I did, I was working before I flew. And it was really tiring because you just don't have enough sleep, you don't kind of concentrate on driving. Recommendation for drivers, always get enough rest. Important rest is number one, no more than that. But I was so close to very good tickets for him to like lay down straight and then he can really rest. But it's no point buying like guys seriously because for me i don't think i i, I think don't I'm, think he will do it no because for me i don't think it really helps me even though i can sleep it's just the maybe it's just the environment i just really cannot sleep it's just you've been used to it never been much on airplane also that's why maybe it's my first time so far away this is a nine and a half or something the longest i ever took yeah most of the time i fly is nearby so it's four five hours to me that's still endurable but I didn't, I didn't that more than 7 hours, I think it's tough for me uh, and it's almost like uh, that. Even though, flight. even though like he drank a bit of wine and then he works in the morning, he still kind of... It doesn't help like guys, maybe it's just... So base by base basis. Maybe it's just my way, it's my brain uh, Seriously, maybe I know I'm excited for the trip, I cannot sleep. That's one, that's one, that's one reason, uh, that's one reason. And just, you, if you know that your husband or your partners is those that are not in a correct mind when we land there, Please. <laughs> what do you mean by correct mind? I mean by correct mind. When, when the instructors or the person in the wilderness was like telling us about all those where to take things are, like, where to turn on the heater and all the things like, I was expecting him to listen because the camper van was very small, so we can't s squeeze in together to listen also lah. So I expect him to know. Then he came like, okay, 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 to the. I was half listening, the, guys. I was still very tired. In the end of first night. Like, he didn't even switch on any heaters and we freeze during the whole night. Because I think I switched it on by switch to electric instead of gears. I pushed yes. upwards instead of downwards. Yes. So for those camper van trips, travel outside. A word of advice, always listen. Two people listen is better than one person listen. Yes. Triple, double, confirm. And refer to the manual books because they do have it. I think guys are more better for labor works. I I'm, I'm, more, I'm a person who can count for strength. She mostly listens better. Because they didn't really, I didn't sleep well, she asked us to listen, but I was just, yes, 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 but I wasn't even listening. Well, what can we do? We have already come back, so a uh, tips for you guys. Uh. So guys, uh, drivers, uh, remember to have an enough rest, okay? <laughs> so let's jump into the next, next question. Questions. Do not plan any trips or anything for the whole day, more than 5 hours of driving. Because I learned from my, <laughs> my thought or my feels. As I plan like maybe seven hours or more than that for the whole trips of one day, then in the end we stop a lot. <laughs> we also wake up like because guys, from what I see, uh, she doesn't understand from a driver's point. She has no license, so she thinks that we drive is like 20, 200 kilometers per hour. She thinks that we can zip here, zip there without even taking breaks or whatsoever. But back. But please let me spare me. Uh. Sometimes I think I drive fast, but it's a limit to everything. I'm not driving a fighter jet, I'm driving a caravan. Yes. So if you really want to enjoy more of the scenery and like really slow down, really, really slow down. You should like, space out your like criteria maybe more. Four hours, the max or five hours for one day. So you can like enough place to like chill here, and then sit there, and then like. Go to one place, you see the scenery, take photos, and then enjoy the food over there, and then go to the next location. 
then like just go 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 to every single locations ah. so it's not good so let's go to the next question shower in the afternoon oh that's a very good advice <laughs> Because in, in the, the afternoon, winter, in the winter, during the winter and the afternoon, there is sun come out. Although the uh, circulation of the air is cold, if you only bathe cold water in the afternoon, you won't feel that cold. Because why? There is still heat outside. There's it's about sun also. because we went during late winter. It's late August we went. The temperature during the daytime when there is sun is about fourteen nine. to fifteen degrees. No, no, nine to ten degrees. No, fourteen to fifteen. Oh. Because the problem is that even though air is cool, there is sun. And then if you bathe at night, right, it's very cold. Even though there's a heater in the camper van, but still, bear in mind, uh, and not to mention, sometimes the, the water may run out and then become a cold water. So you have to wait quite a long time for it to heat out the water and back to the warm water. It may take up to 45 to 1 hour. And then another good thing about bathing in the afternoon is like, they doesn't have any power for me to blow my hair. As a girl, we have to blow our hair before we go sleep or I do like to blow my hair to sleep. A good thing right is to bathe ready then when you travel to the next location, you open the window and then the air will help you to dry your hair faster. So if you want to dry your hair, if you want to don't want to bathe in a cold water or cold cold night, right? Bathe in the afternoon. So let's go to the next question. Shower and cook in the dump station because you shower need to refill fresh water, you need to let go the grey water. All those things, if you are in the halfway or in anywhere, right, you are not near the dump station, right? You have to refill and drain it out, refill and drain it out. Why, why not just do it in the in the dump station? You have to refill and drain out your excess water or your water. toilet waste. Yes. All can be done at the dump station. Then after that, you are good to go free. Then anytime you want to stop, that you don't have a dump station nearby. You can utilize everything there because it's really full. Yes. Like your fresh water is important. So let's go for the next question. Please guys, even though we go <laughs> during winter times, ah, there's still sand flies. There's still flies and a lot of flies. So when you go down to take photos or go for a walk, right? Are you even just <laughs> park at there and then you just want to cook and you want to open the ventilations and all the windows right? close it <laughs> close with those like fly nets. nets because they will come in they will sure come in i opened the door to throw something from a five minutes again when i went in our caravan floor was full of flies usually it's a lot it depends on where you park so if you really want to know camper spots normally there is a lot of flies not sand fly but flies and summer, summer. and they're very irritating uh, let's jump to the next question there's a curtain at the side of the window so that at night you can draw it out too close and then it will reframe other people to invade into your privacy and see what you are doing so all those curtains when you are like put it at the side normally you just put it together and then you just tie it with a thing you doesn't twist it so it will keep flying if you open both windows during the winter because it's not snowing and it's not raining so we just like open the window to save the electric and then it'll be more windy for us to sedate the air but <laughs> for the first few days the curtain keep... will keep flying to us it's because the speed of the is too fast and the problem is that the wind coming in is a lot stronger yes. so those binds may not be strong enough to actually hold the curtain it eventually will break off and it fly in order for it to for not the curtain to sustain far. its flying you just tie it tighter to tie it to something or make sure that it doesn't get in the wind you, you twist it a lot of times like you twisting a hair and then it will bind into the curtain wrap just make sure it's tight though. and then it will not fly off when you open the windows okay so let's go to the next questions remember to bring toilet rolls tissue papers and trash bag because they are very very eco-friendly eco-friendly country compared to singapore we just use a plastic bag and then throw it into a dump station and they just recycle themselves or they do advise us to like separate it but most of the people we don't separate it also so it's not a good thing there we learn a lot like which can recycle which cannot be recycled because their country is very strict in those things trash bag for different different things then you have to bring more because they doesn't even provide more yeah that's teaching you to be more responsible in life like. mm. so you do your own thing separate it out and it's mm -hmm. easier for them also like. yes and those do issues right you can bring those travel bag issue and then you just use all and then toilet rolls for our camper van wilderness side like, they provide one big toilet rolls in the toilet we thought that we they doesn't provide so we bring like four four to five but in the end it's we use about two or three of them one, one or two only because the toilet rolls that the wilderness provide gives us quite like maybe five days or maybe it's up to you whether you go toilets more or not like, or you use the toilet roll more or not 
But for us, for both of us, we take about one row from the wilderness and another one or two for our own and that's all you no need to bring much so it depends, it depends on, usage, on your usage uh. because if you're going to use more please bring more if not you have to buy yes so let's go to the next question please bring hangers or to dry your clothes they, they provide like maybe three to four hangers it's but not enough. it's not enough you have to hang your towels and sometimes because we go for hot spring and we have those bathing suits so maybe another few months for bathing suits and some of the clothes like jackets you can't hang anywhere or you place it around it's very messy so you can either hang it at the hangers and then you place it in the storage place or you can hang a lot of like clothes that you want around if you want those clothes doesn't want to be proper ah. so let's go to the next question everybody should know that Campbell van they runs on RPG gas as well as electric but if you want to use for cooking as a gas and heating right mostly you use RPG gas because it's more faster and warms up better more than electric because electric takes time while RPG gas just straight away and then maybe within 5 to 10 minutes the heater is out already yeah. so we didn't talk of researching we thought that it would be very expensive until the day that we go for a refilling of our RPG gas and it just costs like maybe less than two. It costs about eighteen dollars to refill the phone, but one quarter to full tank. One full tank LPG tank costs I think cheapest from twenty five to the most maybe thirty. So if you think about it, if you park at a campsite that has all the all the utilities for you like like electricity, bathing, cooking, all this, it takes about it's one day is about thirty five to forty. True, you use everything, but you also eventually have to use your, the gas too for use your gas because usually electricity is not good enough. Seriously, it's not good enough. It may seem powerful for the first time, but after a while you die. Don't be afraid of RPG gas just use it it takes up to like three to four days it depends on how you use it and tips for you how to check the RPG gas when you take it out and it's like you can shake and if it's very light means that it's going off already so you can go and refill it mm. <laughs> Don't be afraid of using RPG gas. Really, really. The first two days, the first two days we were afraid. Imagine that, like RPG gas, forty dollars to refill nine kg for usage of three to four days, rather than you stay in a campsite for forty dollars per night for using hot water, electricity, and just cooking at that. Well, depends on you, but we are more towards saving. If you want to save RPG gas, if you don't want to stay or you want more luxury, or you just want to stop at that for most of the day, like you stay at one place for three to four days, yeah, maybe you have to go to a campsite because you didn't move the car around, move the van around. But if you are moving around like us, like we go to different point every day, every single day, then you drive every single day for four to five hours, no point, RPG gas. So let's go to the next question. Remember to bring recycle bags for grocery shopping because they doesn't provide any grocery bag. They don't provide grocery bags, but they provide cardboard. Cardboard mm. boxes, like reuse cardboard boxes they use to clear the stock, they leave it there for bulky items to bring back. Other than that, you bring your own recycle bag. I don't think they sell you plastic bags, right? They sell you paper bag. Yeah, paper bag, but it's not a lasting one. It will break, it break quite fast. So recommendation, bring your own eco-friendly bag. And then you can just push the trolley to the camper van park and then you just throw it out. So practically that's your home, so we don't have to reshuffle everything. Mm. So let's go to the next question. If we are going for New Zealand or Australia for camper vans, remember to download Camper Make. Camper Make apps because firstly they have all the information of toilets ah, uh, dump station ah, uh, petrol station ah, uh, uh, campsite ah, uh, especially your all in one campsites uh, any restaurants around or any like attractions or any tips from the travelers who are using the caps that oh this place is a good tips for you to take photo then you can go there and take and it's very good and it's resourceful for using that app so i i do plans my route uh, according to those plans or uh, according to the route they show us so that's like tips and things so i will be like oh here guys a uh, place for me to take photos then i'll go in and take photos and then enjoy the view over there and then come up a very good app set provides a lot of information so download the app okay so for the next tips money 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 well i didn't expect new zealand to be the grocery shopping to be so expensive really. the necessities in there really really is it's very expensive. higher than singapore their cost of living is quite high but one thing i enjoy is their relaxing kind of lifestyle which i really do mm. as for necessities you roughly can buy get those vegetables drink or those the only thing is cheap is sleek, uh, all alcohol. Those are very expensive. Alcohol is not a necessity, but alcohol there is very cheap. So we literally 
drink hot things for every single night when we go, when we are in New Zealand. <laughs> Fun fact, guys, she can't take alcohol and she's trying to cycle me drink ciders. Ciders nice. So that's nice because ciders sweet. I don't like alcohol. But other than the necessities, whatever you can find there, 60%, 70% no, of the stuff you can find in Singapore also. So mm. it's easy for us to shop because we know what we are expecting. But you can't, like tofu, all those things, right? You 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 can't find it in. Like being cut, all this you cannot find. Some stuff that may, maybe during the winter is hard to get. Like, that's why they don't, their products never came in. Maybe. But meat is, for us, for, honestly, meat is quite cheap there. Yeah. It's not expensive, but we didn't buy. Mm. So, but other than that, vegetable is costly because it's winter, it's hard to grow. The crops are hard to grow. Practically, one bell pepper I saw was $2.39. Wow. What's with really that, man? But so expensive. I'm happy that's going to see uh, other country how much it costs other than going to Malaysia. Something but, that I regret uh, is for grocery shopping, I we should give a tips on straight away go to those frozen corners because they also have frozen meat beans or frozen fries or frozen some things. Then you can just dump it inside rather than really use a fresh vegetable. I do know that it's not healthy but if you are going to save money or doesn't have enough cash like us, really just go to those locations. As for that really up to you guys though. If you want to save for money, frozen will be better. If you want for health, fresh will be better. Mm. But like I said, it all depends though, seriously. For us, we just think we just get what we need because most of the stuff we get is mostly is frozen. Mm. We must be going there for a few days, so it's not so bad. But if you really stay there, maybe you have to consider. As for us, going there for eight days, staying in the camper van, it was a good trip. Like, I enjoy driving. I think in the eight days, I think we should clock about 2,000 kilometers, I think. One, play, one, one day I travel 500 clip. Four to 500 clip. So it was pretty fun like, going out. But then, as for myself, I think going back to there, maybe, maybe not. We'll see how they do it. But I doubt. Uh, because I will only go there once, I will not go there again. I will go to another place. So, here's the tips for us. So We will let you know in the next video how much we actually spend. Mm -hmm. We will narrow it down and we will give it to you guys. Oh guys, you are in a, you are in a, real, a real treat for that man. We spend a lot. We so spend a lot seriously. Please stay tuned for the next video. So guys, don't forget to... Like, subscribe and comment and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Leave any comments, if you have any questions, we will try our very best to answer them. We will see you next week.